Third Phase Moon, Blake Cousins here. Welcome back, everybody. It is uh, quite incredible to share this right now. Coming in from Russia, they have found what appears to be a 250 million year old microchip. The question is, have they? Well, the researchers have made another incredible discovery in Labinsk, Russia. According to scholars, the discovery marks the beginning of a completely new history. A new history indeed, one that many ancient alien theorists have been talking about for years. The object that the researchers have found is believed to be some sort of ancient microchip. According to researchers, this microchip dates back millions of years. After countless tests, uh, the researchers have come to the conclusion that this is an antique piece, antique, and was used as some sort of microchip by ancient times. This is incredible stuff coming in from Russia. Maxim Trebo submits this. The problem is, scientists believe that dating of this artifact is not entirely accurate, given the fact that you cannot date a rock. And the tests were based on traces of organic material found around this mysterious chip. Now, the million dollar question is, who and what is used this microchip that dates possibly back to 250 million years ago. Is there a possibility that this is in fact the remains of ancient technology? Technology that once belonged to a highly advanced civilization that inhabited Earth millions of years ago? Or is there a possibility that this artifact did not originate from Earth, but from another planet, belonging to an extraterrestrial race do you see the K2000 inscription? It almost is, it's quite amazing. You can see it there. Better yet, what makes Russia so unique that numerous artifacts, like one we see here, have been discovered over the years? I believe that uh, Russia is ahead of disclosure. They're, they're going to beat the US to the punch if they don't watch out. Like many other findings, this is remarkable and it was found by chance by a local fisherman by the name of Viktor. Morozov, who donated this curious finding to the scholars of the the Southern Polytechnic uh, University who performed several tests and concluded that embedded into the rock is a strange device which strangely resembles the modern day microchip. Scientists have not tried removing the alleged microchip from the rock, fear they might damage it. Geologists and scientists cannot explain the origin of this fantastic find. The possibilities that explain what this object is could be extraterrestrial technology, evidence of sophisticated ancient societies, or just one of those strange rocks made by Mother Nature. Some scientists point out that this might be actually some part of a stem plant, such as lilies. Skeptics have already debunked this, finding suggesting finding that this is uh, not worthwhile. Just don't even look into it. Well, we at Third Phase Moon, we're looking into it. We want to get your opinions below of what was discovered in Russia. I, I think it still has not yet been explained. Uh, scientifically, we got to find out what this is because I believe we've been visited over a quarter million years ago, right here on planet Earth, and the evidence is here. What do you believe this artifact is? Did this belong to an extraterrestrial race that visited Earth in the distant past? Leave your comments below. Blake Cousins here. Keep your eyes on the sky. Share this link. Share it with your friends. Brent said, come over here. Take a look at this link via Google Earth. I'm not exactly sure what he's discovered. Brent says it came in from Maxim Trebo. I, he says this is going to break some news. So let's do it for the first time. I'm going to do the search. I'm going to put in the search and we're going to find out Brent's coordinates. Let's go for a ride around planet Earth. Okay, we're going to the Pacific. Seems like we're in the middle of nowhere on an island. Okay, I think I see what Brent's noticing here. This object. But what? It's underneath the water? 
Okay, Brent, now you got my interest. Let's move it. The Millennium Falcon has crash landed in the middle of the Pacific on Google imagery right here in front of your face. Brent, I don't know what's going on here. This is, this is amazing. Let's pull it back. Let's pull it back. Brent, let's get serious. Let's get real serious and discuss what's going on in this Google Earth search. We're putting the coordinates below. Everybody could do it for yourself. We're doing this live right now. Go ahead, Brent. Let's move it. Blake, this is cool, real cool. You're doing this real time for everybody. We're getting this information from Maximum Trebo. He gave us the coordinates and I just pulled this up. I'm like, wow, Blake. Let's take a look. Could you pull that back a little bit? We're, we're seeing those tracks. Pull those tracks back from this object here. And it shows that this could be a crash landing. It reminds me of the Baltic Sea anomaly. And you can see this thing has been ripped ripping this up the surface is it's total what the hell's going on here almost a loss of our words in its own sense as we're looking through this i'm backing up looking at the imagery and uh, this island let's see what's going on over here where are we exactly starbuck island Wow, now, now things are getting strange. Are you kidding me? Are we at Starbuck Island? Come on, people, we're doing this for the first time. I think this is a world exclusive. Nobody's seen this before. Let's let's take a look around. Let's take a look around. I love Google Earth because they really are scanning this, the surface. Let's see. Let's. It seems like this could have been a some kind of landing pad let's move it and this is where things get a little strange there. There, there it is there it is you see that look at this boom 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 and then the track blake it seems to like skip across water this thing's skipping and hitting the surface and bouncing back, but it seems like it's almost, it wants to hold on to the surface like a magnet. Is this some sort of UFO technology that's digging into the surface here? Control. It almost seems like an out of control landing, skipping along the surface. Then right here, let's go into here. It's going underneath the water right here. We're going to go deep. Let's see. Let's, let's get a closer in. look let's at this object. In. That's good. That's, there's some good detail there. It almost gives some uh, dimension there. Let's wrap, Let's it, wrap around. it around. Yes. Let's see if we could wrap this around. Let's wrap it around. What is this? All right, people, we're going to put the link on the description. I hope everybody's doing this. Let's get a bird's eye view on this. You know, this is something that needs to be shared. If you have friends around on Facebook, you want to show them something cr incredible. Go to third phase of moon right now. Share what you're seeing, share what you're seeing, share the link. A disc shape. Look at this. Let's see if we could turn things around. Come at it from an opposite Let's direction. There's a, I'm pointing out. Moving closer to that craft, I see a little, uh, like it seems to have broken up almost. There's a piece, oh wait, right there to the right there. We have a couple fragments. What oh, wait, look at the ship. It really gives a nice dimension there. This, wow. that is, that's amazing, Blake. Now we know that right there, this gives look at this. a ship. Look, what are these patterns? What are these anomalies underneath the ocean? Here, look, and now we're gonna go back in. Let's move into this. Like I said, doesn't that look like the Millennium Falcon? That's insane. Are you seeing this? I see the, it's definitely moving forward. It looks like we're looking at some sort of trajectory of turbo, a boost, a power source behind the ship itself. It, it's definitely sci-fi. It's science fiction like, and we're living it, seeing it on planet Earth. We're looking at this right now and look at this. Look at the 
track as whatever this craft is. I'm calling it a star craft now. This is my opinion. Look at it, it, it crash landed and now it's underneath the water. You know, in the middle of the Pacific. Let's pull this out. Let's see where we're at. Wow. What a perfect.